caught a swarm. Pistol. Minus the queen. Alright, well all y'all go home and tell everybody in them boxes that when they get ready to swarm. Come on down to the hill. colonies go first so by that you've got one or two of these boxes out of 11 that's going to be built up so strong that they're going to swarm before I get the opportunity to split the goal for me is that they all can be split on the same day so that I make that time and that arrangement and have my equipment ready and I go and I just split bees I move the splits from here to another apiary and from that apiary back you know, you set yourself up for success, as they say. The problem is, with honeybees, uh, they, their timeline's not yours. So what they've got going on in those hives uh, is preparing for a buildup to do two things. Um, they're going to multiply by division. So the old queen typically is going to cause a swarm. She's going to thin down, she's going to leave, she's going to leave everything behind in that colony box for them to raise a new queen and to carry on. We want to capitalize on the fact that she has left and in a swarm event, she's going to do this, it's all going to happen naturally. Um, we're going to give them a place to go. The bees that are already in this box that you saw are in there because that old brood comb serves as an attractant on its own but there was some pollen stores left in it it's fresh it was in the refrigerator and it had not molded and they are going nuts over it right now we're in the mid 50s right now mid to high 50s we've got a 15 mile an hour northwest wind it's actually pretty cold out here when you're not standing in the, in the sunlight uh, a lot of guys that that uh chase these swarms in the spring and, and trap them they've already got their boxes out and, and that's a great that's a great idea because you want these bees that are naturally foraging right now for things you want these bees to be looking at your swarm traps um, they're the same bees that are going to go back to their colonies and relay this information to the to the, the group that uh, not only have we found found a great place to move into, but it's it's uh, it's just almost in the perfect location. There's you know there's there's comb there, um, so there immediately that that queen can get back to work and build up that swarm colony. So take advantage of all the things that the bees do naturally, and when you set your your swarm catch locations, try to try to pick open areas, try to get, you know, east, southeast, uh, sunlight on them immediately in the mornings, not too much shade for the traps. Pick out these environments that, that you've seen bees in, in the past go to. Um, I have not put swarm traps out in this apiary at my home yard before. This is actually a first. You know, and it could be that this swarm trap sets here 
empty all swarm season and I'm and I'm cutting them out of these limbs right here around these trees. I don't know. We're gonna give it a try. So bear with me. Let's get all this set up and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Cause it'll sure be easier if they move into that box for me to take them down than it is to get a box and go up and get them. So continue watching and, and let's try to work this out together. made mention before in a past video I like to leave this pretty blue or red or yellow straps and just let them flop I think it serves as an attractive as well necessity I do believe in the swarm commander as a drag these bees will work this they'll work this comb till they've got everything out of it that they want you can already tell in the time that we pulled from the shop to here they have really been working on this they're after this this multicolored pollen it's still pretty fresh there's no mold in it so they're getting down in there and, and digging and picking and getting that off out of there. That's their attractant right there. There's been bees raised in this comb. They know it, they can smell it. A lot of guys argue the fact, because we're all beekeepers, argue the fact that 40 liters is the appropriate interior dimension for these bees so they 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 set them up to have a volume in which that scout bee goes in and she works that box on the inside and measures that space okay i i, I believe that well what you won't see is most people load these boxes with frames and foundation i've caught bunches of swarms doing just this method it does work i've caught them where it loads up seven frames of bees eight frames of bees i've caught them where there's three in the middle uh my awesome videographer dude filmed the one in the tree stand that day i think it had three frames of bees in it uh, and it was as cool that day as it is today i don't remember the date that we made that catch what i am saying don't get hung up on the interior of the box. We could pop these foundations out, put a starter strip in them, wire them. Those bees would pull comb right down through the wire. That's great. They also may cross comb and bridge comb frame into frame. It, it, it's going to work. That's the important part. Just set it, set it up for success, however you feel is the best and then let the bees do the rest. If you're in an, an area that's saturated with bees, if you're in um, the natural forest, those bees at that time during the swarm are ready to come to a new hive, new home location for that colony. This 
coupled with a little bit of, of lemongrass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show this again. Standard jeweler's bag is what I call it. It's a little baby Ziploc bag. You open it up. Try not to rupture or tear the bag. It's important. Cotton ball in the bag. Lemongrass essential oil. Okay. It is super, super strong. It does not take much, and I'm not going to use much simply because this box already smells like bees. It's an old hive. It has had bees raised in it. It's generated a colony. It's, it's the deal. It's everything about it says that that's where, where the honeybees want to, want to be. They want to live. So we put the lemongrass. If you get this on you, by the way, you're going to smell really, really good for a really long time. That essential oil is so stout that it will permeate this bag. There's no need to poke a hole in that. There, there's done. There, there's a lure in itself. I like to place that back here in the back. Just like that, when the, when the cover goes on, it'll hold this down. That, coupled with the old brood comb, is all the enticement that you need on the interior of the box. Let me, let me explain a little bit about the Swarm Commander. Everybody that's used this has, has just completely raved about it. They do that because it works. You, you, you get something on the market that works, uh, the, the signs are obviously there that it's a great product, it sells itself because it works. So this is the spray variety. You can get this in jail. You can get it in, in capsules, brake vial capsules. You can put them in the back. I like to use it as a wind drift. These honeybees are out looking this entire property over for anything they can get, whether it's whether it is uh, nectar, pollen. Um, point is, they're working in an area of lack when it's when it's February. Um, they got an immense population of trees, mostly hardwood and cedars are producing right now. So your, your, your maple trees, which I have very few of, um, cedar trees I have an abundance of, and the elm trees, we have several of them, and they are blooming right now, budded out. So the bees are getting pollen. Pollen is their brood build up. We'll see some of that here this afternoon if this wind quits, I hope. All right, enough about that. We're, we want the box up on location cover on, I'm going to ratchet it to the platform, and then wind drift lure, and I'm going to spray this wind drift lure on this opening, this is, this is my lucky entrance reducer by the way, that, I cut that out of a persimmon sprout, wind drift, I'll shoot a, a spray of this right here, and about every six, seven days without a catch, I'll hit it again, especially if you get a lot of rain, freezing rain, sleet, snow, whatever the case may be, it's going to dull that odor down. And then at that point, you need to refresh in your box because, you know, yesterday we're talking in the 70s. Today we're looking at, at barely in the 60s. Um, welcome to Arkansas. You don't like the weather, wait three days, you'll get something different. All right, so we're going to lid it. 
got my ratchet strap. We're gonna go up, drape the ratchet across the stand, get the box up, ratchet it up, hit it with Swarm Commander, and we'll have a box up and baited for that early swarm. At least that's the plan. All right, that's got that. I think going under a deer stand ladder counts as bad luck. You gotta say bread and butter. Bread and butter, bread and butter. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Thanks a lot, video dude. Now, now I'm hungry. That's pretty much what I do best. Eat? Yeah. Eat and cook. Hey, cooking the skill. Fine art. Fine art. Here we go, this is that safety thing. Don't try this at home unless you're perfectly confident in doing it. Southeast, and I don't think that will make a bit of difference. So, right at this entrance, one good dollop, and I'll redo that along the way as as the swarming activity increases, or just keep it fresh, as I'm expecting. That first time to pop before I get to it. So I hope that some of this will help you. I want you to stay safe. I don't want you to do anything that would ever get you in a bind and, and get hurt. Have somebody help you, be with you when you do stuff like this. Um, put these deer stands to work in the off season. Uh, you guys that, that enjoy trapping, this, you get the same feeling when you catch bees as you do when you catch a critter. So I encourage you to try swarm catching. Uh, it's enjoyable. It, if you, you folks that don't want to or feel like you don't have the knowledge to split bees, this is a great way. Put, it, put some of these up around the perimeter of your colonies. Get back, you know, get back a minimal 50, 60 yards from your colonies, they tend to want to go a ways before they settle. Uh, take that for a, a little bit of tip. I've noticed that uh, sometimes you'll see a, a swarm come out and, and bag up right above the hive. 
hey, there's an exception to every rule. I want you to be successful. I hope we're helping you along your way. I appreciate you watching us and subscribing. Um, stay tuned. We're gonna, we'll follow this up if we get a catch. Um, till we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.